A decade under the influence, boys. Go on. Nicholas? Hmm. Yeah? How dare you? What? I don't know. How'd you not add this to the fucking playlist, by the way? What? Take the take you want. Add strong. Uh. Take on anyone. I know you are wrong. Give me war machine now. What? Give me war machine. Why? But why? He's a mini. What? He's a mini gun in his back. Oh, I thought you said something else. Hey, how they tease you with the, the stuff you can do in the level, but then you can't do it? Shit. Take on anyone. What is? Wait. Yeah, what are Sega tokens? You can use them to buy more uh, uh, avatars. Mm. There's certain avatars you have to purchase. purchase. Like Deadpool, I should make a cost of fucking fortune, but. Like, if he's gonna even be unlockable at all, he's gonna be costing you fucking thousands and thousands of dollars. Cause he's a bad boy. Mm -hmm. What? Mm -hmm. Hey man. No, hate the game, hate the player. Is that Jack? Bro, look at John Depp. Hello, John Depp. I bet this fucking uh, game, uh, part of the game is funny shit. I think they don't have the missions and stuff included. Oh, true, like this. Is that having the single player? Yeah. True. Dude, Robbie is getting the best points out here. Oh fuck. Ah, I'm not paying attention. Alright, we're gonna do this now, boys. We're gonna do some tricks. <laughs> Holy shit, that was a lot. You see that fucking squaw, Zach? No. Or when you're the big gay. Uh, you don't dip. Okay. <laughs> oh my I'm trying to think what I actually. I, I don't know. I don't know what I'd play right now if I could play something. Yeah, I know. Me too. I'm kind of like. Huh. Well, I mean, the thing we were doing on GTA was pretty cool, but I know I couldn't stream it. What? Huh? If I was gonna Nick Handle, what we we're gonna do? What were we doing? I don't remember. The fucking uh, helicopter. Oh, dude, yeah! Well, <laughs> no one can handle it. It's just something that happens, you know? I mean, computer wise. Yeah, he has a good. His computer's probably freaking better than mine. Um. Yeah, the graphics card's kind of cool. Nick, you have a really good computer now, right? I think so. Oh, that's right, yeah, he built one. Yeah. 
Um, I'm down. I want to play something. But can Nick do a triple impossible? No. Could you do a triple impossible? No. Could I do a triple impossible? No. Sounds like some like Burger King menu. Why do you think I couldn't do it, Zach? <laughs> Uh, Only uh, Harry Potter. Uh, I mean, can a Mike V boneless. Yeah, and Mike V. Two of the only people can do it. Alrighty, I'm about to do it, boys. Nope, see? Zach didn't think I could do a triple impossible, boys. I'm proven wrong. <laughs> this is the info wars. I'm totally not paying attention. <laughs> Deadpool's bigger than fucking War Machine. I don't know how that one works. Uh, big gay with the big tanks. Tanks. Look, my favorite drink. Oh, what the fuck? No. We're gonna do it. We did it. A 180 triple impossible, boys. It's not triple impossible. It's a 180 triple impossible. Shut up. <laughs> I did it. That wasn't a good landing. You shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, I did it. Another, I did a quadruple impossible. That's like, that's a quadruple, quadruple. I did a triple. Triples, triples are harder. You shut up, Meg. Hey, Meg, shut up, Meg. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, man, you gotta go to Hogwarts for you master that. Just wait. I... Do you know how many times I've done it? Oh, actually, no, it's in Canada. Okay, we did have the helicopter, that'd be epic. There, I did it. Uh, very good, Harry. You're not a wizard. <laughs> I'll have you know my name is fucking Robbie Sulfate. Why is your yeah, feet so wrong. big? Damn, big Bigfoot is. I, that's the point. No Spider-Man skills. Oh my god, was that Squidward? <laughs> the voice inside Sonic. my head. Where are you? I'm already... Oh, you mean Thanos, but he's really tiny. <laughs> what? Tiny Thanos? <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> Look at those like, extremely muscular legs. I know he's in here. All of these look... look. Uh, weird one. Oh, oh my god. Ooh, Vader skateboarder. Oh, yeah. See oh, righty then. Oh, Gambit's normal size. Wait, so what does Thanos look like then? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, righty then. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh, Nick. Oh, yeah. Huh? Oh, it's a pie! <laughs> <laughs> I <laughs> love pie! <laughs> I just didn't unlock Thanos, understandable. That's me. Well, thank you, got some bitty boys. I'm not getting money. What? I'm gonna be Iceman, go to the Triple X store. <laughs> nice. Or can be Juggernaut and knock fucking Nick's head off. What? Say what? <laughs> I can be Liu Kang. <laughs> <laughs> that was some smooth writing now. through that oh, hole. These are fun. I like these. Beautiful. I see what it looks like. Oh, I'm just. <laughs> Ew. It looks retarded. <laughs> Alright, let's see. I'm gonna. He's got summers. Look at the way he runs. Whoa. <laughs> Let's actually see. Interesting. Got a lot of Pokemon avatars. Did you put this in here, Zach? What, what is it? Beverly Hills. No. Beverly Hills. That's where I wanna be. That's so good. 
Hey guys, me Peter Parker. Whoa, dude, I'm in Germany. Oh, dude, there's Cap. Yeah. Wow. Move out of the way, dude. Yeah. Then in Beverly Hills. You. Oh fuck. Uh, Mr. Stark, that hurt. Yeah. <laughs> Stark. Oh god. Bro, Zach said the misfits smell like pee pee. I seen it. Oh, oh, oh. What? Yeah. So Nick, question for you. Yeah. Hon I'm... Honest question, no repercussions. Who, who is your all-time favorite superhero? Superhero? Spider-Man, of course. Aight. You got like a double negative going for you, but like, besides that. I swear to God. Nah, you were just like the, the male version of fucking Gibby and it's hilarious. Um. By hilarious, I mean it's fucking good. awful. But, I mean, I'm for the record, I'm with you. Spider-Man's the o OG Keck. I mean, I think the one of the movies portrayed Spider-Man uh, really nicely at the ending. Where, uh, like, I hope you mean uh, well, I guess I really don't care which Spider-Man you're talking about, but I mean. No, no, I mean the story plot really, like where he defeated the bad guy. The bad guy went to jail. And another bad guy went up to the other bad guy in jail, and he was like, "Hey, I know you know who Spider-Man is. I mean, I heard that you know pretty much." And the bad guy that was taken down by Spider-Man, he respected Spider-Man for saving his life. Oh, that he was like, "If I knew who Spider-Man was." was he'd be dead he was like covering spider-man's back because he respected him so much and i was like oh my god i want to say you're talking about uh falcon and uh yeah okay so yeah you're talking about the tom holland one the uh homecoming because that's what spider-man does he saves falcon yes and um yeah see i don't know to me i i'm just always gonna be a big fan of toby Maguire spider-man like i mean to me it's not I like mean, yes, that doesn't I like, that doesn't portray Spider-Man, like, the best, like, hey, look, it's Spider-Man, Spider-Man. You just, you can't, because it's, like, with the MCU Spider-Man, they try a little more to make Spider-Man into the hero form rather than just how you get the average life of Peter Parker in it. You know what I mean? Like, the Tobey mm -hmm. Maguire Spider-Man does a lot for the Peter Parker sense, but you also get a lot of useless, like, day-to-day -day life stuff. You know what I mean? Where it was, it wasn't, well, to me, it's just, like, uh, him going to the events with Mary Jane. It was just a lot of him and Mary Jane where... The newer Spider-Man's focus on that, but not like to the extent they used to. Where it's like that was the the whole thing with Spider-Man. Like, no, it he still had his hero. I don't know, but I mean, I think they portrayed Peter Parker the nicely with Tom Holland. Yeah, no, I'm not saying. I'm just saying when it comes to like my favorite version of Peter Parker, like I always say that the that was like the key with those uh, Spider-Man movies. Where I feel like the Tom Holland ones portray a better <laughs> Spider-Man. You know. Where he's like truly that friendly neighborhood Spider-Man that doesn't have any, because ha he has the choice to go big, but still chooses to be small. Versus, there's no option for that in the Spider-Man movies because it's just like that's just Spider-Man alone. They, they don't have any reference to the other, you know. Other one, yeah. Right, but it's like the continuation <laughs> with like. Didn't have enough um, money for that contract. Yeah. <laughs> well, for an example, like how in uh, Homecoming, it's like Falcon's big reason is, oh hey, let's rob from the Avengers, let's rob from Stark, and it kind of leads in Spider-Man to the rest of the Avengers versus. Sandman, uh, Venom, and Green Goblin don't have any kind of, you know, thing with that, you know? Oscorp is just own thing, and then... I think uh, Green Goblin was portrayed really nice in those Tobey Maguire movies. Oh, yeah, like Willem Dafoe did a really, really good job. And, uh, what's his face? Uh, I can't think of his name right now. The guy who plays Harry. Um, I don't know. But, I mean, to me, it's always, like, that's... That's Green Goblin to me. Like I could, it's the same thing as Hugh Jackman as uh, Wolverine. You just can't change it, you know. Ah, uh, yes. So. James Franco. That's who. Yes, that's who played uh, Harry. 
in uh, Green Goblin 2.0, basically. So, yeah, I, I liked him a lot. See, because then there was my problem with uh, the Andrew Garfield Spider-Man, was I feel like Andrew Garfield looks like Harry, and then the guy who plays Harry in the movie looks like fucking Toby, and I'm like, it, you just reversed the fucking... I don't know, so... I just kind of liked how that... Because I'm like, how the fuck are you going to tell me Peter Parker gets bullied, but he'd be looking like that, like... I'm looking pretty hot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hot is the new nerd. Oh. <laughs> I mean, technically, in this day and age, nerd is the new hot, in a way. Yeah. But, whatever. Not going to question anything. I lost that on that track, so... Whatever you look like is the new hot, apparently. Nah, you... No, because a lot of people look like they just went to a fucking, uh... As kids paint shop and fucking right painted now. themselves over nope. but uh alright Nick what about okay other superheroes though who else you like um I mean obviously Hulk cause he's really? you're like one of the only I people just, I know who likes Hulk I think it's really cool <laughs> have I you mean, seen the new one where he's like a mixture between Bruce and Hulk oh, yeah, and he's from, like this uh, gentleman Endgame? yeah I got a hold of uh, Hulk's power <laughs> yeah so really I don't know I don't hate Hulk I just uh I've never been like that interested in Hulk like uh what's his name uh, the the Incredible Hulk that movie the one that had um it wasn't what's his face uh Mark Ruffalo it was fucking oh uh Cause like, yeah, I liked that one a lot, but yeah, I like I saw it in the theater by myself. Those are the first time I saw it in the theater by myself. Yeah. But um, I don't know. I just like, I if you're gonna get me to watch say the independent films, like, I'm <laughs> obviously gonna say Captain America's films are always gonna be like my go-to's. But mm. like Winter Soldier's really nice. First Avengers really good, and then uh, Civil War is pretty good. Yeah, but yes. uh, there was one of them. My only thing with Civil War is it's just a, it's, it's just a constant big lead in where it's like why isn't this just an Avengers movie? Because it's like okay we're introducing Black Panther we're trying to get you to know Black Panther but it's like it's so much to do with like I get it has to do with Cap and the Winter Soldier and that but I'm like there's just too much of it that screams Avengers to me where I'm just like you know <laughs> yeah but, uh, but also it makes sense to call it Civil War and is a Captain America movie like aha I get it because Cap's the the war guy but I don't know. I'm just hoping, I kind of wish, in a way, that Captain Marvel would have done better, because that would have opened up the 90s MCU, where you could have had the older crew come in. Because I feel like, for an example, the X-Men definitely would have been more of the 90s than of the uh, modern-day Avengers, you know? Like, if they were going to introduce them, that would have been your... But also, I know they were supposed to be technically a part of the Endgame series, when it comes to comic-wise. But... Are they introducing them yet? Did they say anything like that? Like, I know supposedly Nova's coming in and all that other shit, but that's gonna be just... Cause I feel like the next wave is just gonna be more focused about the space shit and Guardians and all that. I think it's, like, you think about some characters, like X-Men, and then you totally forget that they're in the same universe as, like, Spider-Man. Right, well the other problem is how close-ranged everybody is, you know? But then the other thing is this with, like, say, the X-Men, is they killed off Quicksilver in the fucking MCU, so... It's how do you implement that, you know? Mm. I mean, I'm sure they could work around it, but it's just like that was a big piece, at least to the X Men movie yeah, franchise. I don't ever see that scene. Yeah, I'm red now. I'm pretty mad at that. I don't know. What I've looked I forward to is the Silver Surfer, though. That'd be kick. I was like, hey, it's that guy, and then I was like, oh, never mind. He's dead already. But I'm not gonna look forward to fucking Deadpool in the MCU. Not gonna lie to you. Well, no, cause now you're gonna get rid of the whole Peter Parker, Tony Stark thing, which, I mean, to begin with, was just kind of whatever, but now it's gonna be the Peter Parker. You know, it's gonna be the Peter Parker, Deadpool fucking. There's just way too much shit on it where it's like that has to be done. It's just. I hate it because I know what it leads to for a person, and then that just sells me out completely. <laughs> I'm trying to. I got personal problems. But. Paradise, but I don't know. I, I I don't. There's a lot of characters that I want to see kind of like make their way in. But then it's like, how do you? 
I, like, I wonder how, this, for example, they get, like, Galactus to be a part of the, the MCU or something, you know what I mean? Like, there's just so many... Uh, oh, no. I well, it's just, there's a lot of massive, like, characters that aren't in there that I'm like, I don't know how you expect Star-Lord to bullshit his way out of this one, you know what I mean? I mean, and yeah, Iron Man's gone, so... Yeah, it's uh, sad. But, I mean... To me, it's just like, how big of a deal was Iron Man to this, like, whole thing? It's like, you know, the brains of everything. Right, but now you got, um, we got Smart Hulk. That's the thing, right? There's another thing. So is Hulk completely, like, dwindled when it comes to fight ability? Like, he's no longer going to be, like, a strong... You really want to rely on the Hulk to bail you out of shit? No, but what I'm saying is when it comes to a big fight, though, like... I just don't think Hulk's gonna be a fighting person anymore, you know what I mean? I don't know. And then, okay, so you got Captain Marvel, but... How long does that stick around? And what, uh... As, uh the longer Hulk is out, the smarter he'll get. He's right. like a big child. Well, here's my other thing, though. It's like... None of the present characters... I think have enough of an ability that they've like, shown off in the movies that would really fight some big, you know, villain. Because they dumbed down everyone Alright, but then... I don't know, like, to be, like, for an example, they didn't even beat Thanos. They beat Thanos by using his weapon against him, not actually like, beating him up, so, like... Yeah. Again, the same terminology, how do you bullshit yourself out of a big fight with a, you know, a celestial or some shit, you know? But... I don't know. It's just me and my dumbass thoughts. What got you so into Marvel all of a sudden? I don't know, probably because I'm playing Spider-Man. But, uh, also the thought of Deadpool is just... It's got me thinking about things. I really... I've gotten, like, really into Star Wars. Like, there's a bunch of... There's a bunch of YouTube videos where, like, people get into depth and explain, like, the Nick. details. I'm like, ooh. Nick. And then I get into Darth Vader, I'm like, oh. Nick. What? I'm gonna stop you right now before you kill yourself. Why? Because I went down that path, Nick. I went down the path of watching those things and I realized how much I wanted to hate myself. Uh, let's see. One of them's really fucking cringy and made a fucking movie thing that was... I don't even want to think about it. And then, the other ones like to repeat themselves for a hundred times like, so due to the fact that Anakin lost Padme was the reason that him as Darth Vader was so angry because he lost Padme, which led to the fact that he would always be after people because they couldn't have love because he lost Padme. I get it, you lost Padme, I'm just going to repeat your fucking self. It's, I'm being serious though, like, people reiterate the same thing till they make a 10 minute video to make the ad revenue. And it's just like, I don't need you to tell me the same thing. You know, it's like, okay, so, Darth Plagueis there. fucking, or Darth Sidious made Vader, blah blah blah, and then, okay, in conclusion, this is why Darth Vader was made through Palpatine. There you go. You don't need to repeat yourself a hundred times, I'm not retarded, I'm not five. I'm watching this because I'm taking a shit, or I'm headed to work, and I'm looking for something small to do. <laughs> like, when I was going to Launch Bay, I'd always watch things like that before I worked the Launch Bay shift, just because it'd get me in the Star Wars mood. And anyway, you know, like, uh... I like the ones where they just pretty much read out the comics and shit. Like the one where the nurse was into Darth Vader and then. I think I saw that one. She's kind of crazy. Where they went on the fucking mission and shit, right? No, um, it was like this crazy nurse that was in the same ship as Darth Vader. Was she was the like night nurse? Super obsessed with Darth Vader and like mm -hmm. it's like oh you know I love him and I know that he he'll he's like totally interested in me and then mm -hmm. it's kind of like freaky like collects all of the things that she ever took out of him when they were like in surgery hot and then finally she pretty into, hot <laughs> then she goes into uh, his chambers. Ugh. And he kills her because so she's a big dingus. Yeah, yeah, exactly, actually. I'm getting on GTA, by the way. Alright. 
a wild man. I don't know. I I don't mind them. I just there's a lot of those that are just like yeah I couldn't right. handle. But if I start if they start. Uh, hello. Oh. Um, I'm gonna take an hour just to set up my stuff, even though well, I see, probably could have cut this all. To out. me, it's also the people that like fucking like here's my cringy Star Wars merchandise that I made with my brand. It's like, hi guys, it's Sithmas guys. Like I, I just I. When they spend an hour plugging their merchandise, I'm like, I... Or don't forget to like the video. Like, I will like the video after I have watched it and I can enjoy it. <laughs> but I'm not liking it just because you told me to like it. Like, that's not how this works. That's not what liking is. So... Well... I don't care. Why did I log out? But, uh... Yeah, no, I mean, uh... I'm into the Star Wars stuff, but I just... Uh, what lately? What's got me into Marvel? I guess is more. Is I've just been watching Marvel movies. Cause I've been into Star Wars stuff for a while now. I mean, like I mean, I've been doing Star Wars movies and shit for. Well, I'm just kind of changed it up. That, I started watching that last uh, video we watched. That was so funny. Which one? <laughs> oh, the one um, with the Anakin with the glasses. <laughs> oh shit! Yes. I show you that one, Zach. I hope so. It's fucking hilarious. Uh, fucking, uh, you need my help, son. What do you mean? I uh, wear my glasses. I beg you. <laughs> Holy shit! I love it when he's stuck in the chair. Hey, uh, help me! Uh, oh, go good, Anakin. Oh, like, oh, good. Oh, good, Anakin. Like so casual. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, I'm over. Ass up. Oh, good. <laughs> he knocks him over. <laughs> <laughs> Very good, Potter! Alright, uh, 